All right, guys, I'm just going to do a little example of uh, repairing EPO with boiling water. This is a really cool little trick. Um, what I'm going to show you here is this is off of my J10 crash. This is just a little part that I could fit in the pot, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, now, this wing hit. This is exactly the shape it was in when I pulled it off. And as you can see, it is bent over. It is crinkled up, and it shot. Uh, so if this happened on a plane that the rest of it was fine and undamaged you know yeah you could straighten it out and force it back in and you know move it around and stuff it wouldn't look too great so uh, what I'm gonna show you is why EPO that's one of the coolest foams why the only planes I fly are EPO plane or EPO planes you'll see this one even has a uh, crack in it and I will show you how that works out as well so uh, really cool technique what we're gonna do is use boiling water we're gonna straighten this back out just with boiling water and uh, I'll show you guys how that works so let's go ahead and get started um, got a big pot going here filled with boiling water um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dip this right into the water okay and we'll give you one more look what it looks like here before okay give you the other side okay other side's not bad this side's not pretty so we'll go ahead and just put it right into the water here Okay, and I've got it down in the boiling water. Kind of move it around just a little bit. Put it in there for a little bit of time, a little bit at a time. Okay, and kind of pull it out and see where we're coming. We're already starting to straighten back out. Not enough though, so get it back in there. All right. Leave it in there a little bit longer. There's really not a need to move it around, I don't think. I don't I haven't noticed much of a difference by moving it around. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and pull it out and see what we're looking at now. All right. All right, guys, we are straightened out a lot. Now, I did tell you this will give you an alligator look to wherever the water hits um, compared to the standard look on the, on the foam. But, as you can see, it is straightening that out, taking out the dents. Uh, the leading edge is almost completely back. Um, got the little corner dip down there, which is where the little crack was at. So we'll stick it back in a little bit longer. You don't want to go too long, but you just got to put it in and play with it a little bit. Okay. All right. We'll give it a little bit longer. All right. We're we'll going to pull it out here. Let's take it over here and take a look at it. All right. Now you saw what that looked like before. Now, yes, you do have that alligator look, but that is nothing that can't be fixed with some sanding, primering, um, micro balloons, uh, any type of filler you want to use or whatever. But that bent surface is now back. And let's look at the painted side, see what we did there. All right, there is the painted side, guys. It is straightened back out, and of course, it is going to take the paint off. I did use a latex based paint, but as you can see from what it looked like, to where it is now and that was I didn't even have it in the water but for a couple minutes I usually do it a lot longer than that and it will basically give the shape back so that's how boiling water works on EPO it swells the cells and returns them back to their natural shape now after about a day or so guys these uh, these cells here they will shrink down a bit after the water evaporates out of them. remember they're still holding water right now so after the water evaporates out of them, it will tighten up, it will shrink down, and they won't be as distinctive as they are now. Right now, they're still kind of doing their work, but as you can see, that was kind of bent in an upward angle. We've gotten that straightened, and like I said, I just did a quick one for you. you know, normally, I do it a lot longer, um, but this is something now that can be repaired and can be put back to normal and painted and sanded and made look like nothing ever happened to it. So... What I might do here is let's go ahead and cause a little bit more damage. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's do let's do some uh, leading edge damage, like if you were to a wing. Okay, there we go. There's a nice broken leading edge here. Hopefully, I did that. I probably did it too far to where I can't get it in the pot. So we'll go down a little bit lower here. All right, there's a good one. That is a good example of what happens when a plane goes in. Okay. So there's the damage, you guys, okay? Let's just say we got back from the field, I wanna start a repair on this. That's not pretty. Look at the angle from the back, okay? From the side, from the top, and from the leading edge, okay? 
So there we go. Well, let's do it again. Show you how easy this is, guys. Once again, put the damaged area down inside the boiling water. Give it, a, give it time to work. Give it time to soak up in there, heat up. I'll leave this one in a little bit longer for you, and I'll try and catch that first dent we got in there, too. I don't know if I, I didn't put enough water in, but we'll get her going. All right, we'll take her out and take a look at her. All right, that was only a few seconds, guys. Um, <laughs> a few seconds. That's not bad, if you ask me. See, so, you know, the, only, the only bad part about this is the pitting, which, like I said, easy. That's the easiest part to repair. So that was only a few seconds in there, and you guys just saw where I smashed that on the table. So we'll give it a little bit more. See if I can catch that. I'm gonna try and catch that other edge in there too. I'm, I'm barely getting it, but maybe the steam will work it just a little bit. All right. All right. Let's see what we're getting here. Oh wow! Burn yourself. Okay. Well, I, I did manage to catch the other dent that we put in there a little bit, not as much as I'd like to, but. You, you guys saw how I just smashed that wing up, dented that wing in, disfigured that wing, and with boiling water and EPO, that's what you get, guys. Pretty amazing stuff, if you ask me. And like I said, a lot of those bubbles will disappear within a 24-hour period, and you'll end up with just with just some, you know, micro a little bit, of, a little bit of area that you want to maybe smear some micro balloons and epoxy or or uh, you know foam filler anything like that sand it off prime it paint it you're good to go but check it out rewind the video back a little bit and see how smashed up we just did to that leading edge which I only managed to get in the water for probably about 20 seconds if that and then this edge I completely tore up and put out of proportion and as you can see not bad and normally I would do three four or five treatments of what you just saw me do um, after letting this sit for about a half an hour I'd go back and do it again so this is just a quick one for you to show you what you can do with EPO and boiling water pretty cool stuff you can save a plane with that stuff guys so I hope this helps somebody out out there that smashed up a plane don't give up on it just because something's broken or been up pretty good because uh, once I go back in and epoxy that leading edge and remember the front area that we smashed <laughs> that it was already smashed in you go in and the only part that's still bent is right there where it's cracked, epoxy that in, straighten it all out, do a little bit of a little tender loving care there on some sanding and painting and no one will ever be able to tell. So that's how you use boiling water and EPO and it works guys. Hope this helps. Thanks.